I'm staring at the Naruto, the last sketches for Sasuke and Kakashi. So we have the last Sasuke sketch available to us. Oh man. Best character of the show gets a new look. Now, by the way, for those of you complaining, for all these fucking morons, uh, don't say that he's the best character of the show. Have you ever thought that maybe the reason why I say it is to annoy you? Unfortunately, people think that I mean everything. 100% of the stuff that I say in my videos, people think that I actually mean it. So if I were to say that these new designs suck ass, people believe it. That's the beauty of this YouTube thing. You don't really know what I really want to say. All, all you get is what I say. I'm looking at Kakashi's new design, and the one thing I'm thinking is, how is this a new design? Aside from not having a shotting gun and therefore wearing his headband the proper way instead of using it to cover one of his eyes to save up chakra, he looks pretty much the same. Then again, Kakashi is an adult. He's a grown-ass man. He doesn't need to be hip. He doesn't need to put on beads and shit to look cool for the movie. He's just Kakashi. That said, if it was all the same for the people in charge of the movie's publicity, I would have rather had gotten a Hinata design rather than a Kakashi design, but it's, it's, let's, let's, let's move on. You know, I guess Kakashi and Sasuke are now available. That's the thing though, these are not full body designs, and for Sa especially for Sasuke. Because when, when Naruto came out, when his new design came out, we had his full body design. Sasuke, all we get is his face, which is arguably the most important physical feature that human beings have. But let me tell you something, the stuff you wear, your clothes, whether you're, you're a real person or a character, it says something about you. It doesn't say a lot, you know, because you can't, that's stupid to judge people uh, based on what they're wearing, but it does say something about you. But let's work with what we got. So Sasuke is looking pretty, pretty mature. He still has the Sharinagon in his left eye, which I guess means he can't deactivate it anymore. It seems kind of unnecessary that he has it activated. Maybe he just has it activated for the movie, you know, for the promotion of the movie. But then again, it's like, I mean, if, if Sasuke is a very practical person, so he wouldn't have it on all the time if he could avoid it, because it's just, you know, it's draining chakra, right? We have the turban, which in my mind just brings a religious image, you know, of, of people who are Muslim. But then I thought to myself, wait, it kind of looks like a bandage too. Because I don't think we get to see the top of it, so we don't know if it's covering his entire head or if it's just, you know, part of it and we can see, like, there's still some hair sticking out. And then I thought, it reminds me of this. That's the way Sasuke looked when he fought Itachi, okay? And speaking of Itachi, Itachi had a necklace. And judging from the picture, it looks like Sasuke has three necklaces now. Or at least it could be the same one, it's just really, really long. And so it comes around uh, three times, right? Either way, there seems to be an echo to Itachi in this sketch, which I, I love. Because it's like, shout out, big bro. You'll always be with me, you hear? His serious gaze, combined with the turban, combined with the beads, just make me think of one word, sage. It makes him look like he's more in tune with his spiritual side, which Sasuke has never really been. I mean, when I think of spiritual, Sasuke is not one of the people that my mind automatically goes to. Uh, but yeah, he definitely looks very wise. Um, and the thing about the, the turban, you know, or the, the headband is, Sasuke has never worn anything, you know, that wasn't there for practical reasons. So this is just a theory. What if it's hiding something? What if those bandages are hiding something? What are you hiding, Sasuke? Did you suddenly develop Kaguya's vagina eye in your forehead and that's what you're trying to cover up? I don't think it's that because his hair is flowing downward like a bitch. So even, sorry, so even if he were to take off his turban, his hair would cover his forehead. I'm just going to say this. If this look is a reference to the look that he had before he fought Itachi, it's possible that we might see a Naruto vs. Sasuke matchup in the movie. Not the big-ass fucking fight that's about to go down in the manga, but, but something for entertainment purposes. Because Sasuke vs. Itachi was a fundamental fight in Sasuke's development as a character. It is one of the most defining fights for Sasuke, period. So it would make sense that he, he's actually going over to Naruto, wearing the headband, and in the hopes of, of settling something. Because if it's the last, it's time to go all out. Those are my thoughts. Tell me yours in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still waiting on that Hinata design. People are saying that her design hasn't come out yet because it would spoil 
the end of the series because she's going to be pregnant with Naruto's baby, Little Neji. That's that's my name for for their baby. It's gonna it has to be Little Neji, Neji Junior. I disagree with those people. I think that if we ever see Hinata again, she should be sitting on a throne and her name should be not not Hinata anymore, but Empress Hyuga, and and she should be wielding a whip. You know, to, to get all of these Hyugas into shape. Because he, she is the leader, the, the heir of the Hyuga clan. Little Neji, come over here. You've been a bad boy, Little Neji. Went crazy with all that power, man. What can I say? Thumbs up are always appreciated, but you don't have to. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more The Last Sasuke updates. Yeah, it's, this movie should be called The Last Sasuke. Because he's literally the last Uchiha. The Last Uchiha. That's what this movie should be called. The last best character of the show. I, I, I just said it because I want to piss you off. Thank you. Sorry. Thanks for tolerating my bullshit.